Good evening and welcome to this service of night prayer on this lovely light, light night, um, or Compline as it's known, on Friday the 24th of June 2022, which feast day celebrates the birth of John the Baptist. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. And as we reflect upon today, come to the time in our service where we confess things that we are very proud of today. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was at the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love will keep us what we once while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised from life to death. This is Psalm 143, the psalm set for today. Hear my prayer, O Lord. And in your faithfulness, give ear to my supplications. Answer me in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant. For in your sight shall no one living be justified. For the enemy has pursued me, crushing my life to the ground. Making me sit in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints within me. My heart within me is desolate. I remember the time past. I muse upon all your deeds. I consider the work of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you. My soul gasps for you like a thirsty land. O oh Lord, make haste to answer me. My spirit fails me. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear of your loving kindness in the morning, for in you I put my trust. Show me the way I should walk in for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies, for I flee to you for refuge. Teach me to do what pleases you, for you are my God. Let your kindly spirit lead me on a level path. Revive me, O Lord, for your name's sake. For your righteousness' sake, bring me out of trouble. In your faithfulness, slay my enemies and destroy all the adversaries of my soul, for truly, I am your servant. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. And our <coughs> short scripture reading is from Mark's Gospel, chapter 13, beginning to read at verse 35. Keep awake, for you do not know when the master of the house will come. Evening or at midnight, or at cockcrow, or at dawn, or else he may find you asleep when he comes suddenly. And what I say to you, I say to all, keep awake. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord, of God of truth. I commend my spirit. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Now we say <clears throat> together the Nunc Dimittis song of Simeon. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. Mine own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake me may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. And now we bring before God <clears throat> today our cares, our worries, our thanks, our praise. Almighty God, by whose providence your servant John the Baptist was wonderfully born and sent to prepare the way of your Son, our Saviour, by the preaching of repentance, lead us to repent according to his teaching, and after his example constantly to speak the truth, boldly to rebu rebuke vice, and patiently to suffer for the truth's sake, through Jesus Christ your Son, our Lord, who is alive and <coughs> reigns with you, and <coughs> who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace, and may your blessing be always upon us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we say together now the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the, hand is at, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. The night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. Restore us again, O God of hosts, and show us the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. Bless and keep us this night and always. Amen. I pray you have a great night's sleep and wake really refreshed in the morning, secure in the knowledge that Jesus loves you and is with you always. Good night.